written learn far everything the same way at time using imagine do it differently yeah differently i'm not going to paint i'm not going to copy that i'm going to use some of my imagination yeah do it something different This we call X cut texture. Have you ever seen an X? Yes. Yeah, it's not. It's something like uh, this. We use them to chop wood or the rock or the uh, the soil because in undeveloped area in China, ancient times, when people want to walk, they, there were no roads. People chop away the dirt, the sand, the soils, and the trees and the rocks. So this resembles the chopping of an X cut. So we have uh, technically we have two terms. This is X cutting or X cut texture. The other is uh, the other. We have two uh, two main two main uh, kinds of ice cutting is a big bigger one we call a uh, big ice cut or the minor one small but we can use combinations any, any anywhere in the range but we can do sideways or different directions it's also good to practice uh, if you have black newspaper so here sometimes we can do contours the lines first sometimes we can do the ice cut or the other kind of textures or sometimes we can mix the sequences But if I were going to repeat three times, it will look dull, redundant. Yes. yes. So I have my own accent. Never repeat the same technique, the same direction, the same tone. Okay. More than three times. Maybe three times is the maximum. But in case you made a mistake by repeating the first time, make a drastic change, but not too drastic. It will look inconsistent. Try to solve. We all have problems or troubles in life. So try to solve. Yeah, make it a little bit different. See, I'm using something different. Uh, maybe something very different in the background, like a mountain distant away. So more water here, less water here. If you want to paint the back uh, the mountain which is closer, maybe a little bit more ink. Oh, that's too much. Right. So there's a way to rescue it immediately. Water down? Yeah, water it down immediately. But if it's not going to save, to save, try something else. Try to make it up. So in painting, we can always make a change. My calligraphy. Oh no. You can make them all dark. Yes, I covered it. Yeah. Make it all dark to match this. Yeah. So before we uh, touch the paper, we have to know. We have to know what color. Yeah, what color? What density? See, I'm always using different directions. Maybe. This is also uh, the side cutting, X texture, for different directions, from bottom up and different, going different directions. Okay, this here is wet. You see, it changes right away. See, very dark here. In, in Japanese, they call this... Uh, how do you say this? Sumi? Yes, sumi. In Chinese, this is... Shui uh, Mo, water ink. Sumi and water ink, they are usually purely water ink, no color. Oh, very light color. Yes, yeah, different from that one. But this, this sumi, sui mo. Yeah, sui mo. Wa. So they want to uh, sui mo sumi. Use water ink and create imaginations. So uh, by combining the different possibilities, you see here. I'm not going to uh, destroy the rest of it. And usually I don't finish one spot completely. You know why? Because you have to go over when it dries. Yeah, or make make a further change if new idea comes up, or maybe make a mistake. Change it later. So don't finish or fix one area totally. You can if you want to. If you are very certain and if you don't make mistakes, you can do that. But usually, uh, I will try different. See this? Maybe. So it, it begins to look like the painting, right? Yeah, water. This we call uh, diluting with wash. This is more like washing. Wash with water with less ink. And then immediately you can use uh, dark ink or heavier ink. Make it lighter. So 
to uh, Sui Mo painting and many techniques. There is no fixed rules. You combine the rules and techniques you learn from others and use your imagination. You can create unlimited possibilities. That's why uh, Sui Mo uh, is very popular in Japan and America. But this kind of style is less popular. It's kind of strict, you know. I think you, your mommy or your sister can do this. Everyone can do this. But with calligraphy, we need certain disciplines or principles. See, you can add layer and layer. But with, this paper is not so good. It does not absorb so many times. But this paper, you can absorb beyond your imagination. You can change it anyway. You can even add color. And color, layers of color, layers of color, and ink, and then layers of color. Like oil painting, yeah. So, here. Okay, So I want you to appreciate the greatness, the artistic quality, not just Something you know, free and go and just throw it away. Okay, ma. Well, let me finish this. So this, uh, so this, this is not so uh, consistent. I'm, you know, uh, demonstrate different ink tonality. Here, if if you something not consistent, connect them. You know, make a transition. See, have different. So you see, how many different techniques I've been using on this piece? A lot. A lot, more than 20, right? A lot, right? So uh, I will let you finish this. Use your imagination, maybe another five minutes. Oh, is it too late for you to pierce? No. No, sure? Okay, for five minutes. Because today is his birthday. No. It's good for a year. Last year, it's good for a year. It's good for a year. Last year, it's good for a year. Last year, it's good for a year. It's good for a year. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's fine. Okay. I was worried if you you need to catch the appointment. Yeah, right. Yeah. Are you ready to be on?